what's up y'all okay so i wanted to give you all a tip we're gonna call it the tip of the weekend okay <laughs> um for all my shamans for all of my healers my root workers my my seers whatever you are destined to be or are at this time in your life i wanted to give you guys a tip with spirituality it is so it is being so flooded with all these fucking feed this like this use this bring in more energy by burning this all these type of tools and substance when you're really in your power when you're really in your natural god-given energy that you possess you don't you literally don't need any of that I'm, and I'm not, I'm not saying that those things does not enhance, enhance your gifts and your um, what you're trying to bring forth. But if you are in a crisis or you those none of those things you were able to get or, you know, buy or purchase, whatever you had nothing, you sh still should be able to tap into your energy whatever you possess whether it's working with air um whether it's working with fire whether it's working with water whatever element you are you need to still understand how to tap into those energies or that energy to bring forth what you need you should not have to rely solely on material things when I first started out, you guys, when I first, and I mean not started out, I always, even as a young child, y'all, I always been, um, I always kind of knew who I was. I knew who I was from the gate. However, I, though there was a lot of things along my path, you know, parents and religion and everything that um, put me in bondage in a way to hold me back from or um, practicing practicing more of you know, um, my spirituality and who I was. As I broke free from that, I learned on my path from, I learned on my path pretty much how to do things, how to obtain things without fire, without wind, without water. I, I learned without earth. I, I learned how to just, become everything within self and to manifest what I need. Because I am all of those things within my own human energy. I don't need to go really out, outside of myself. And, it's, it, and this is not to say that, you know, um, working with water or working with air or working with fire, those, those elements, working with all the elements that it doesn't enhance your powers. You should work with those things. But what I'm saying is the true your your true self come out when you understand how to work with those those elements without material items. Without feeding something, without worshiping something without lighting something, without calling on something. Everything is, is within you, literally. And I know that's such a cliche, like people say that a lot, but it's truly what I'm saying is, it is really is your universe. You should still know how to manifest without literally having to do much. And how you can start out is you can start with whatever element you feel like you're more drawn to. Okay, what I work with may not be what you're called to work with. What somebody else work with may not be for what you need to be working with. You need to really ask. And I think people have not really been taught to really just ask. And it's not, it's just as simple as that. You don't have to get on your knees and start no prayer. You don't have to do no rituals or anything. You just need to say, hey, look, I need to know more. I need, I'm, I'm trying to search for more. I'm trying to gather more information about my world. Bring me the message that I need. 
things will start showing up. Either through dream, either through a voice coming through, either through a word, it, numbers, whatever. Whatever you your attention draws to, that's the message, okay? The whole purpose of this um, audio is to let you all know that you should not need to do really anything to be in your power or to manifest. And it starts from the basic. If you are a fire energy, don't put no water out. Don't do no altar. Don't call, just put a flame out and think or say what you want and what you're trying to grasp. Or what you're trying to bring forth, I mean, and let it flow. See what happens from there. You shouldn't need to. Um, you shouldn't need to do anything. It should be nothing around. It should just be a basic ass candle. Don't do no colors. Don't do nothing. I mean, keep it very basic. Nothing but a candle and a flame. That's just to start off with the basics until you really grasp that the flame is really inside of you. Until you really get it that that flame you just lit is really your is inside of you. It's inside of your world here. Or if you work with air, learn how to do just the, just the basics. And you could do that by speaking it out. Letting it travel. Go outside, go out into nature and speak it out. Whatever elements you feel like you work with, and this is um, definitely for my brujas, my real as brujas or my real as healers, and I mean healer in a dark way, because I'm so tired of like I <laughs> y'all haven't been seeing my light <laughs> um, video. I'm tired of that shit. Like no, we working with darkness because we heal. We heal. Dark energy heals. Let let's switch this shit around. Let's not follow the sheep. Let's, let's follow what's real here. Darkness heals. So, I, I, you know, I don't want to get off into a rant, y'all, because here I go chan channeling a whole bunch of other stuff that I need to be saying, but I don't want to get off into that, y'all. But I just want to um, just put that message out for you guys. Like, at the end of the, of the day, you should not need to, to really do much. And I love spirituality. I love doing certain rituals. I love doing certain things, but you have to really think, what if none of those things were available to you? What if you were, you know, out here in the wilderness? What if you, you know, did you, you just couldn't get those things? What are you going to do? You don't need material things. It does help. And I do love that. It's a part of art to me. But what if you did not need those and you should be, that's how you really grow yourself. That's how you really grow in your power and your intuition is really learning how to work with just yourself. And it takes some time. Sometimes you do need to, things to be cleared away. Sometimes you need to work with certain material things just to gather or just to get to a, a level or a balanced ga um, earth energy, grounded energy to really understand what I'm saying. But all right, y'all, I'm going to end this here. That is the motherfucking tip of the day. <laughs>